<sighs> people keep saying to me, what do you think to Frankie Gavin Ross? And I always tell people, I think he's a great fighter. I like Frankie, I like Frankie Gavin a lot. I've met him uh, last February, March time. Uh, he came, I asked him to, I rung him up and I asked him if he'd be interested in working with me and Dennis when I were with Dennis and he said yeah. He came up with Dean, his trainer and another kid and Dennis pulled a few strings and a fight was arranged for him to fight for IBO and uh, welterweight and some happened behind scenes. Uh, I, don't, I don't know exactly what, I think it was probably something to do with tickets that were sold and finances and blah de blah and I don't, I don't think he had weight problems I think he were bang on and that but something yeah. happened and he, he all sort of come away and that's how it goes in boxing sometimes you win, win some you lose some but talented kid isn't he world amateur gold now the kid he's just fought Kerman Lajaraga right he's 27 and 0 and he got 22 by knockout. Now, before Frankie took that fight, Eddie Hearn rung him up and asked him if he wanted to fight Josh Kelly. And uh, Frankie said, yeah, but Eddie never got back to him. Now, if Frankie had have said no, Eddie Hearn would have gone out there and said, nobody wants to fight Josh Kelly. Even Frankie Gavin's knocked it back. That's how good Josh Kelly is. He's big, he's great, he's number one, apples and pears. Eddie would have given it all that, wouldn't he? But, I can explain it. Frankie said yeah, Eddie didn't get back to him now. Maybe Eddie might get back to him now, but is Josh Kelly really that good? There's a few in the business that are saying he ain't as good as what Adam Booth's making out. A bit similar to Billy Nelson, I like Billy Nelson and he's a character, he's a proper Scotsman but Martin McCauley ain't as good as what Billy's making out. Billy's talking like he's the second coming of Ernie Shavers and George Foreman and Tim Witherspoon rolled into one. He ain't all that McCauley. Yeah he spars Joshua but Dave Allen won a couple of sessions, sparring sessions against Joshua uh, I know they've done over 500 rounds together, Dave and Joshua, but Dave's never hit deck once. But uh, Joshua didn't have it all his own way against Dave Allen sparring, so... And he's not going to have it all his own way against Bacoli, because sometimes you work on different things, don't you, in sparring, but... Frankie Gavin, I think against Josh Kelly is a 50-50 fight because Frankie's not at his best now, he's coming down here and Josh is coming up on the sort of meeting aren't they? And is Adam Booth going to risk that fight? So I know for a fact Frankie Gavin will take that fight against Josh Kelly if money's right so but they wanted to fight Frankie Gavin, Eddie Earn and them Frankie said yeah they didn't get back to him but I don't hear Eddie Earn wanting to fight the guy who's just stopped Frankie Deal. I haven't seen anything. Everybody's gone quiet about this Spanish kid, haven't they? Like I've just said to you, 27 and 0, 22 by KO. That's not bad, that is it? But uh, I wish Frankie Gavin all the best. I like him. He's a character. There's loads of Frankie Gavin stories that does rounds in boxing. I'm not going to divulge any, but there's a couple of good ones, it might all come out one day in Frankie's book, but he's a nice kid. And uh, I wish Frankie Gavin all the best. Uh, sometimes life can be hard and sometimes the transition from amateur to professionals is not the same, is it? But uh, I think in all Frankie Gavin's defeats, he's, prob he's probably could have done better in, in his defeats, but I don't think his career is at, is at its end. I know he's 33 now, isn't he? And what is he, 26 and 4? But I pers personally think that he's got another run in him. But I just think he needs a change of direction. In my opinion, I think Frankie Gavin 
needs a rest until after Christmas and I think he needs a new team around him with new ideas but, but I'm always going to say that aren't I? because I've always been a Frankie Gavin fan no matter what anybody says I always stick up for Frankie Gavin I just think he's that good I think that when they went to Olympics in 2008 all the talk were of Frankie Gavin and Billy Joe all the talk were, were about them two and Tony Jeffries but I think only Tony out of them three came back with a medal Billy didn't get one and Frankie didn't make weight did he but sometimes boxing is like that isn't it and look, look, at, look at the class of 2008 and we, we know what happened to Darren Sutherland bless him don't we so I don't want to dwell on that God rest his soul but David Price got a bronze Tony Jeffries got a bronze Billy Joe didn't get a medal Frankie didn't make weight. Did James DeGale got gold? He weren't it for gold, worry. Um, we missed anybody out. So uh, Bradley Saunders, he, he, I can't remember if he got a medal or not. Dennis tried to sign out a lot, as I've mentioned before on this channel. He bought them all a uh, a tag watch on aeroplane, probably duty free knowing Dennis. But I just think it's a. Uh, Sometimes you look at the groups of people and say they're going to do well, they're going to do well. Then when you look at it afterwards, you know, like ten years later, you know, if they did a program, where are they now? You know, the class of two thousand and eight, and you look at them. Well, look at Billy Joe. What's happened to Billy Joe? He's on a six-month drug ban. He's been stripped or no, sorry, vacated, and he's on a six-month ban. Uh, I feel for Billy Joe at the moment, but. De Gale's, he's vacated his belt, hasn't he? I don't get that. Uh, David Price, you'd say he's British level, wouldn't you, with a big punch. Tony Jeffries had a hand injury. Bradley Saunders hand injuries. We know about that other lad, don't we, Darren, bless him. Uh, I think that's about it. I mean, I'm sure there's another one I've forgot. But, uh, oh, Joe... John Murray's brother, Joe Murray, he didn't win a medal, did he? But he won a world bronze, didn't he? I think Joe Murray's uh, seen better days now, hasn't he? And he's a good little fighter, him. But that class of 2008, in my opinion, were, were a, a really st strong Olympic team. One of the strongest ones they've seen. You'd probably say it was stronger than 2012, but a lot of people got a lot of favours in 2012, didn't they? We as being home nation, but... I wish uh, Frankie Gavin all the best and uh, so keep on trucking shout out to Will at Colourworks and uh, Dean at Maxi Muscle for, thanks for the, the things that you sent me and the chocolate brownie things and that these are the other one I like Dean is that being cheeky <laughs> and uh, what was the other one uh, Oh, the lads at Eco Power. So thanks very much for what you're doing for me, and oh, that's brilliant. So all right. So peace out. Shout out to uh, Chris Smedley as well if you're watching, Chris. You're probably watching this, Chris. At LB Oil on Running Machine, are you? Plugged in. So shout out to Chris Smedley as well. All right. Peace out. We're flying through them today, aren't we? <sighs>